A savanna is a rolling grassland scattered with shrubs and isolated trees. It can be found between a tropical rainforest and desert biome. Not enough rain falls on savannas to support forests. Savannas are also known as tropical grasslands. Average precipitation in the savanna is 59 inches of rain per year. Most of this mainly comes during the wet season. The temperature range is 68 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, with an average of 78 degrees. This is a very temperate environment, which is suitable for wildlife. A savanna can be found in humid equatorial zones, seasonal wet and dry zones, and usually 10 to 30 degrees south of the equator, and in Africa, Asia, and South America. The soil conditions are, could be described as porous, which includes rapid drainage, the ability to hold nutrients and support vegetation and wildlife. No zonation occurs in this biome. The abiotic limiting factors include fire due to lightning, the amount of water in the soil, the soil temperature, and long days without clouds when it's just pure sun. The main producers are trees, shrubs, and grass, such as the jackal berry tree, the acacia tree, the candelaba tree, and elephant grass. The main consumers include herbivores, such as zebras, elephants, giraffes, and gazelles. At the bottom of the food web, there is producers, and at the top of the food web, there is the lion. Common predator-prey relationships would include the cheetah and the gazelle, the lion and the coyote, and the elephant and elephant grass. Moving on to adaptations. Plants have become specialized in order to survive drought. They have large roots to get water deep down. They have large trunks for water storage, and they drop leaves in the winter. Grass has become sharp to stop grazing, and it tastes bitter to stop animals from eating it. Animals also have adaptations. This example could be with the cheetah, because of its speed. There is little room to hide because of the open areas, and speed is needed to be able to catch prey or to run away. Camouflage is also used to gain an advantage, either to attack the prey or hide from the predators. The giraffe's adaptation is with their long neck, enabling them to reach up high into the trees and be able to eat the trees. Two major ways that humans alter this environment, one of which is with hunting, also known as poaching or illegal hunting. Elephants are hunted for their tusks, lions are hunted for their fur. This is how many animals become endangered, and it also disrupts the food chain. A way to turn this all around would be to implement better hunting prevention make synthetic materials to replace tusks. All the savannas combined, there's a total of 1% of grassland that is protected by the government. Another alter in the environment comes from grazing from cattle. Farmers use open land for their cattle, which weakens the ground because of how many there are. Vegetation cannot regenerate, which leads to desertification. One way to fix this would be to don't use so much of the land to educate farmers to feed the cattle, store about food, and setting letting them roam around on their own, and to replant trees to reverse the effect. Moving on to endangered species. The cheetah has become an endangered species. It is important because it keeps the animal's population in line and does not let them get too high. It also helps other animals adapt by killing slower and weaker genes, allowing the animals to become stronger. The cheetah became recognized as an endangered species on June 2nd, 1970, due to habitat loss. They were seen as a threat and were killed by farmers and traded away. Today, there is only about 7,500 adult cheetahs left. The amount, though, is on an increasing rate, as they are now protected under the International Trade in Endangered Species. This is not so effective, though, because most of the cheetahs are outside of where they are being protected. But on the bright side, there are many plans and organizations to help the cheetahs by helping their habitat and raising other cheetahs in captivity to re later release them into the wild. There seems to be a positive outlook ahead for the cheetah population. <laughs>